Okay, to open grasshopper, just simply type grasshopper. And a little bit about interface. So to use any icons, just simply drag and drop. Okay, so I want you to simply drag and drop anything. So this is how you want to use it. So, and then you need to connect each component using a left mouse button at the right end node and drag it and bring it to near any node on the right side. You can do even this. So connect the right side of a component to the left side of the another component and unclick, release the button. So this is how to connect grass up and connect uh, each component. There are some cases that you may want to connect multiple elements. Then click shift left mouse button and then you see the plus sign and then just connect it together. Then actually you can connect multiple inputs into one component. Uh, one thing, very important thing, display. So if you check uh, display, if you uh, click draw icon, that you see that the icon is changed to simply an on, on image or icon. Do you see that? And then if you draw, uh, if you unclick it, it will show the text. For this semester, we are going to use always unclick draw icons and then dr click draw full names. Then actually you will see that all the names of icon and all the detailed names of input. Otherwise, it's kind of difficult to see. And for you, you may not able to understand someone else's code. Uh, this class is almost plagiarism free. You can copy any code from anywhere. So just, just correctly reference it. And then that simple thing, the zoom in, zoom out, that's it. And then your assignment is actually submit your screenshot. Other quick way is actually go to file, export quick image, or export high res image. I recommend for you to do export high res image. And then you may need to change the background color. Maybe white is good. This way I'm okay with that. And then I simply export high resolution. Uh, type your file name here, image file. I simply using desktop. Um, are you recording? Because you're going to record yes, that. I'm recording it. Okay. Yes. And then save it. And then actually what you'll see is, where is the file? Okay, uh, not this one. I will resave it again. So I will use file, export high resolution image, image file, desktop, I just test two, and PNG, you can change to JPEG. So I save it, and then use some window, composite, and close it. And then you will see this test one, this one shows very high resolution of your images. So your assignment is upload this one to the class block. Also write down your file name. So anyone can find, almost pinpoint your file very easily. So when you uploaded this one, write down your file name. Is it okay, clear? So let's do that now. Upload this image to the class block now. <laughs> Yeah, nothing. Yeah, that's okay. Just upload, do it, and upload it now. <laughs> Are you okay? Okay. This one is now currently black, so I don't like it. So I change the background color, export high resolution. I kind of moving somewhere this bottom corner. And also, you can even change the zoom. And I select OK, then I resave it. Let's see. So I think it's still black. Mm. Try to just play around with the background color. The only thing is that doesn't show. Yeah, the result. Yeah. yeah. That's the bad thing. But I think this one is easier. So it's up well, it's to you. It's easier for people to read the code, yeah. but then you can't see exactly what you created. Like, 
Yeah, I know. Yeah. But code is important or the result is important? Well, what we could do is just screenshot. Yeah, then you can do that too. Yeah. yeah. You can do too. So anyway, easy way is fine. Yeah. Okay, so far, and then uh, the zoom in out, just use scroll bar, the zoom in out. If you right mouse button, it's panning. So again, important one, I'm, I'm repeating again because it's so important. Change your display set, draw fancy, why well, you don't need to, but always unclick draw icons and then draw full name. So we can understand what your component is about. And then another important one, you can comment your project by using go to parameters, utility, there's a scribble. And actually you can write anything on the screen. Basically this one is uh, double clicking. And this one is basically how to comment. I would write down always author date 916 September 16 purpose demonstrate how to use grasshopper and also write down input be careful about what is the input is it uh, curves or surfaces or numbers Identify what is the what is the data type of input, and also write down what is the output. So it's also curves or some whatever geometries, and okay. Then you can see this one. So this one is this one work as our comment, and then actually I will pulling out some input parameters, and then I will select all of them. How and did you get you just uh, in the parameter utility the fourth one is scribble and double click it yeah you can just double uh, just uh, double click on the background here and just type scribble and then select all your object and then you can group them visually so you can group it and actually that this one is basically your skeletal code or algorithm. So here I would write down step one collect input geometries or collect input points. So this one is your first step. In the code actually no one actually really read your code and even grasshopper is the same thing. No one actually really read through your code. They just read your comments, that's it. And if something happened, if er something, some error happened, then actually they see that group part only. So your assignment, always group some of them, add comments on it, so show you, so make your code easily understandable for someone else because the someone else that you worked for is actually you one week later. Again, you will forget everything. You will remember why you are developing your code. One week later, you are the whole different person and you lost everything. And the second one, so your assignment, you must group them. Second requirement, okay, so after doing this, save your file. So I named this one my first name, Juhong First Demo. I wrote as grouped and then save as GH and then also after doing this so okay I, I want everybody save now with your name first demo grouped dot GH and upload our class block now so using groups and I'm checking that your account is working so please upload it now. So our web, our class blog is here.
Courses Arc Miami that lighting acoustics. Uh, the file, upload your file. Purpose, input and output. Exercise first. Grasshopper code probably. Just write whatever you want to write. So everybody upload it. Oh, you want it on the server? Yeah, on the oh. server. Oh. oh, not on the blog? Not on the blog. You can, it's a, you cannot upload the switch code on the... On the blog. But the other one, that last one, you wanted that on the blog, right? The image? Image So upload it to server now. Upload the uh, file, not the... Uh, upload the grasshopper file. And what do you say to them? It's in the courses arc miami.edu. No, 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 no. This here. This file, what do you say to them? Uh, just whatever, uh, your name? No, 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 that's how I meant. I meant like, hold on, so input, you are the curve server, right? Yeah. So you say it's it's a simple, whatever right now you want. So, but it doesn't matter, really. Oh, I see, it's just yeah. for yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying, what do you say to me? Say the document? Document. Or the document. They have document. And then your name. And probably the first step, test one. That's good. And then also the group two. Yes, and groups. Just one group. Yes. And upload to the server. Did you finish your uploading? What is it, Art? Do you finish your uploading to the server? Um, no. Uh, okay, save it as file, uh, save document, and then maybe desktop, and file. your first name. Your name, and then first test one, and maybe test one, test one, and group, and group, group. What's this course? Enter. Are you asking what is this course? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. Upload it to the upload it to the server. Yeah. <laughs> excellent students. Oh, excellent students I have. <laughs> okay, so I've already uploaded. Who didn't upload it yet? Uh, I'm just looking. I haven't got my file. Okay, upload it. Maybe she didn't click upload? 
I did the preview for this one. We oh, it's not. Don't, don't worry about making it work. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's fine. No. It's a, this, this is a good one. Yeah, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just to understand. No, I'm checking. So you did, you did that? Yeah, it's not a yeah. Okay. So everybody will vote it? Okay. So now I'm going to, I'm switched to the second one. Your second file that you must upload, which is using cluster. Cluster is simply select everything other than whatever, just select it, and then use it, add it, cluster. Then actually you can, now, you just create your own component. Ooh, what a nice job. <laughs> yeah, and then actually I would rename it, this one as collect input point. So this one is it's as itself so clear. What they are. Uh, okay, and then you need to save it in a different name because there is no undo in clustering. Grouping can undo that, but clustering cannot undo. So that's why I'm, I recommend you to have a two separate files. Maybe as clustered, probably. And then. Okay, before save it, so I want to make an input or output of a cluster. Okay, go inside, double, double clicking your cluster enable you to go inside. Yeah, you just double, if you want to go outside, simply save and close in the box image. If you want to go inside, just double click the cluster. What do you want us to do when we get in here though? Actually, I want to make an input and output of this code. So uh, let's say that I'll just say this one. It's on, we we'll just ungroup that quickly. Uh, where's, where's our pool input? Now edit cluster, create uh, input. Where's the input parameter? Yeah, actually, we should have input, uh, and we can make input. No, you, we don't need to uh, input uh, internalize. But then, once someone else opens it, how do they know? <laughs> you you want to use someone else's, but you don't you don't want to use someone else's. No, I'm saying someone wants to open mine, or say oh, I want to reopen mine. I have to remake the input. Uh, the yes, uh, you can do. Just. Um, where is input? Okay, so if you want, first of all, if you want to, so in the cluster, you cannot reverse it. Only way you can reverse it, select the code inside your code and control C, copy it and move outside and then just simply paste there. This is the only way you can recycle clustered code. I'm doing something differently. What I do, I put some input outside and I consider this one as my output and I wrap around it the middle and I simply use cluster. Then actually you see that this one is actually the input of cluster. Okay, I will, I will show it again. Okay, actually, uh, yes. I just make uh, one more, just whatever, one of the geometry here. I connect it. And so this one is my output and this one is my input. Do not include them when you make a cluster. I just simply select somewhere in the middle, excluding the input and output. 
and then I make it as cluster then actually you see that you will see the input and output and the cluster and then if you double click it how do we get out of the cluster? this one, the box shape double and then go to click, if you click it save and close you can go outside then suddenly you see that the something arrow first number and smaller than which one is this one? this one is the output and this is the input these two is connected to this B wrap and point. So I have a quick question. Yes. When you uh, that group, you recluster that group. Uh huh. On the inside. Yes. The B wrap and the point. Yes. You had to recluster. Yes. Okay. But actually, I I could I make a new cluster basically. Yeah, I know. Um, the inside part. If you left yes. The two yeah. So if you forget. So what did you say about it being connected? The Okay, so do you see that this left one? Yeah. And the, do you see the right one? If you go inside, mm -hmm. the left one is this one. The right one is this one. Yes, the first number is actually your input. So, the in so you have a double input? No, actually this one is internally they connected together. So in cluster, as you see here, do you see on this one goes to inside the cluster as an input, right? And that's the output of the cluster. The and then this one is connected to the point outside. Internally, the left line, if you go inside, this first number... It goes to whatever the first... Yes. So this first number is here, which is the input. Because it's the first Yes. One. Yes. So it goes by direct yes. direction? Yes. Yes. Uh, what is first number? Like, what is it's just an input I just made it. So this one, BRAP, the, f the left side here is the input. This is function and output, smaller than. So I simply changed that name so for your clearance. I changed this one as input, and I changed this name as output. What and I, any question? What if my cluster is like half? There's a little jagged edge. This one? Which means it does not have any input or output. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. So if I go inside, you still remember that there's input and output? If I I got, well, what's the difference between input and then output the B rep is the input? So this one is just simply saying that this cluster has an input and we are going to use B rep as our input. Okay. So this is basic interface.